Hello, my name is Matt Rogers, and I have a problem. I keep talking shit about things I don't understand, and I lie a lot. I am trying to get help for it. People keep going on about my drug addiction. The only drug problem I have is they locked my dealer up. Can anyone deal? Anyway, let's look at more fabulous pictures of bullshit and lies. Okay, to start off with, do you remember this image that was on Google Sky? They turned around and stated it was a pixelation or something of a defect. Now how comes from all of Google Sky that we see, and then this part was smudged out? It cannot be a pixelation or just a smudge, so it's another excuse. Because this is what they're hiding. They're hiding the coming of this Planet X system. See, so even zooming out to the image, there is no other pixelation or a problem to this screen of this, what we're seeing on this uh, solar system. Again, there is a cover-up, a continuation. But people will still state that this was a just a common pixelation that was on the screen. Hello, friends. Well, once again, the Immingham idiot is talking out of shite. Hardly a surprise, I know. So what are we looking at? And what is the truth of the matter? Well, this is a well-used piece of Google Sky based on the infrared all sky scan conducted using the IRAS satellite in 1983. IRAS scanned the whole sky, chiefly looking beyond our own solar system. This missing section is not censored or part of a cover-up. In this space is the planet Saturn, seen twice by IRAS. As it first scanned one way, catching Saturn in frame, then by the time it scanned the next strip of sky, Saturn hadn't moved into frame again. And for those of you who don't understand, planets move in what is known as an orbit. As the all sky scan was not intended to be looking at our local system, it was removed and that is all. And it is hardly a secret image either. The missing portion is freely available to view. Also, using Stellarium and inputting the appropriate dates, we can see that Saturn was indeed present at both points when it was imaged. How many more times have we got to tell you sickos why? Here we have fresh images come through from Florida. These came in 27 minutes ago from Iris Turner. Now look at these photographs as well. Very interesting photography. Why is no one talking about this? Because it's happening. It's different. Look at the way the sun is beaming down now. Why is no one talking about it? Because it's purple fringing and an overexposed sun in a digital image. Don't forget the sky is a bit dark, but that's because the white balance is adjusted because some idiot is pointing their camera straight at the sun. Just moving along to the next photograph as well. It is a mess. It is geoengineering. It is spraying. And it's spraying up the skies to stop people from noticing of the difference. Just imagine if this chemtrail activity, which is man-made, again, to hide up things, was removed out of our skies right now. What would we be seeing? How many suns would we be seeing up there? How many reflections? Something is being smudged out. Thank you again, Iris, for these photographs. What would we see? Well, we'd only see one sun for a start, because there is only one sun. You do realise that if there was another sun hoving into view, that the solar system would be falling apart, planets would be going off into new orbits, and things would be decidedly dodgy. Not the dodgy you're looking at, because you don't understand that. But if there were two suns, the solar system would be wrecked. And as it isn't, there can only be one. Plus, we can only see one, because some days, there aren't any clouds. I mean, again, the true images are coming through all the time. We're seeing these formations every single day. And now we're starting to see the build-up of the red reflection behind what we're seeing of the change. Now, this photograph is interesting as well. Look at the shape of the sun. Can you see this? Now, when we have a solar eclipse, we start to see the sun change like this. I'm not sure you've ever seen an eclipse, Matt. I've seen two. And the sun doesn't look like that when it's being eclipsed. That's an image that's overexposed with purple fringing. As I've said before... Indeed, what we're seeing is a big difference. The skies were not like this in the 1960s. This is another spectacular capture that Kevin McCoy sent through to us. Look at this, of a pink array above the area of the horizon. This is from another object that's reflecting through. I've seen these before. Yes, quite a few of us have seen these before. These are 
anti-crepuscular rays. That is, the sun is actually behind the person taking the photograph. And the crepuscular rays carry on to the anti-solar horizon. Shadows are caused by clouds. This does happen, you know. Why do you think you get sunbeams? If there weren't shadows in between them, it would just be a sheet of light, wouldn't it? Dullard. So, as you can see, we can now add crepuscular rays and anti-crepuscular rays and shadows to the list of conspiracies against idiots. But just to finish off, here's a picture of the sun I took this morning, Matt. A few clouds in the way, then they cleared with a solar filter because you have to use one. Enjoy.